I'm Katie Key, and I'm with the Scooter Brown Band. Well, at least two of the Scooter Brown guys. Chris, Scott, welcome Hi. to the corner. Thanks for having us. Well, thank you for coming. Glad to be here. And, and also, if everyone looks down, we have a new contribution thanks to you guys. Actually, thanks to Stephen, who's off camera, but we do appreciate it. Yeah, it's, uh, Stephen is a expert zebra hunter. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> He's got he's got loads of zebra pelts all laying around in the so we zebra pelts so we decided to bring one. Yeah, from, well, he, he killed this zebra in Scotland or Spain or something. So. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. I'm sure we'll have to deal with somebody later about that. Yeah. But that's all right. Well, let's talk about you guys are so busy doing so many things. I'm seeing your name everywhere. It seems like you just got back from a, a big run in Colorado. Mm -hmm. What was going on? Um, we did five or six shows out in Colorado, um, full band and acoustic shows, and then we kind of took some time off in between, did some backpacking and some camping and some soul searching, That's and cool. then we got to do a really cool deal with um, uh, uh, an organization called Base Camp 40 uh, Warriors in the Wild, where we got to take uh, guys, a lot of them that came from the San Antonio Hospital um, that had been wounded in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, out on a cow elk hunt. And so we were like kind of a special guest guide, and then at the end, we played a big festival um, down in a town called Fruita, Colorado, for the whole for the whole thing. So we were out there just kind of hanging out. That's my home state. I'm originally from Colorado, so um, we try to make it up there about three or four times a year because I'm a mountain kid and I gotta have my gotta have your fix. Gotta have, gotta have my fix. But um, we have an awesome fan base out there. I mean, people just every time we go out there, it keeps growing and growing. So uh, we're just it's doing really well, and that's helping us spread out into. Uh, doing shows in you know Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska. Um, Las, we're doing a show in Las Vegas, Nevada um, for the Shot Show in, in January. So uh, things are going really good. We're just trying to hit the road and play for whoever will listen to us. You know. That's awesome. Well, that's all you can ask for. Yeah. So how did the band come together? Um, well, it started off as an acoustic duo with uh, one of my best friends I was in the Marine Corps with. Um, we started playing around the Houston area, and it just kind of it kind of grew from there. We we started off as uh, just two two guys playing acoustic guitars. We didn't have a band name. It was just, and uh, so he knew. I, I hate being called Scooter. Like it's not my name. My name my name is Scott Brown. There's there's no real Scooter Brown. The band is Scooter Brown. It's, it's kind of weird, but because of the Scooter Scott Brown Brown band. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so he puts Scooter Brown on the marquee one night, and we happened to just every a ton of people showed up. So we got these calls saying, hey, we want to book Scooter Brown at our bar. You know, heard you guys put in a lot of people. And it was all of our friends and family, you know, like it wasn't any like fans, you know, it was just people showing up because we were playing. And, um, <laughs> well, those are fans. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, or just good friends supporting yeah. two guys that were okay on a guitar. And, you know? <laughs> and uh, so then we just, we started putting the, the band together and we had the, uh, Mark Hernandez, uh, who was the original bass player, him and I kind of like, went out looking and, and started putting everything together and it just kind of formed. We had a fiddle player at one point and said, no, it's not for us, And um, which who was actually Heather Ray Lane, who's playing with us um, in, a, in a couple couple nights. But uh, uh, it just kind of formed from there. And then Chris, Matt, and I have been together for about six years. Okay. So the, the core group of, of that, and then Steven is the newest bass player. He's been with us for about three months. What else is on the horizon for you guys? Um, we're in the process of doing a new record right now, and Yay. Um, yeah, I'm super because really we haven't put out a studio record in like four years or wow. longer. So We've been kind of living off of that and our live record that we put out two years ago, and it's kind of like all right, it's time to do something now because uh, we don't want people to kind of get bored and like forget that we're doing you know creating new music. Yeah. And, uh, so. We, the first song off it was a single that's been out um, to radio was Whiskey Talking, which I wrote with Rich O'Toole, and it was produced by uh, Graham Marsh, who also produces CeeLo Green, and he's mm -hmm. done stuff with Bruno Mars, he did all the Twilight movies, and like, um, the guys worked with some unbelievable... Pretty much a nobody. Pretty much, I mean, like, <laughs> we found him on the street, and like, no, the fact that this guy has even once, I mean, he calls me and says, when are we finishing the record, brother? That's awesome. And I'm like, are you kidding me, this guy, I mean, he just won freaking five Grammys, you know, like for CeeLo's record and he's calling me asking me when we want to do a record. That's awesome. So, and he's a great guy and he's based out of Atlanta. Um, so we usually record, we, what we do with Whiskey Talk, we record it at Stormy Cooper's um, studio mm -hmm. in Houston and then we go to Atlanta, Georgia to mix and master out there. So um, we're on 
contract to try to get that out. I'm hoping by March. So that's okay. what, that's what we're looking for, and it's gonna be a fun record. It's gonna be uh, not. We're gonna go away from not so much country, but just doing our own thing. It's whatever we want, you know. So it's it's a country rooted rock um, that sounds like Scooter Brown. AKA what the Texas Red Dirt music scene is about. It's supposed yeah. to be about original music. Yes. And that's that's what it is. It doesn't yeah. have to be one genre or the other. It's all mixed. Right. Up. Yeah. And, and that's what's cool about this scene. That's what I love about this scene. One of the reasons why I fell in love with it was that. You know, the same people that like uh, Aaron Watson are the same people that like Blue Evanson and the same people exactly. that like Stoney and Reckless Kelly, which, I mean, Reckless Kelly, that's my favorite band, uh, and the, you know, and I love, you know, Brandon Ryder and, you know, all these guys, man, there, there's just such a bunch of cool cats out there in the scene, and um, it's so diverse, and yet everybody just supports it all, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so like, you go, you, it's like us and Josh Ward, mm -hmm. you know, we do a lot of stuff together, Josh Ward is straight up in your face honky tonk country, music. country yeah. honky tonk. Honky -tonk. I mean, he, that dude was born in a beer joint. Right. And then, but we can go and do a show with him, and we're more of a rock band that plays country music, and it can mix, and we can have the same fans there, and people have a good time, you know, and that's that's what's cool about it. That is exactly yeah. it. Well, if people want to find out more about where you guys are playing and what's up, where do they go? Just good. If you can't, just Google Scooter Brown or Scooter Brown Band, and plenty of stuff pops up. But the website's the main place you can go. To our website and like us on Facebook, Twitter, um, check out our tour schedule, everything from that page. So. There you go, folks. You don't want to miss these guys. If you get the chance, go out and see them live. <laughs> In the cluttered corner, and I've got Scott Brown of the Scooter Brown Band, and you've got us some cool stuff. Yeah. In the corner. And uh, I'm hoping that it's the coolest stuff that you guys have ever gotten. It looks like it. Um, first of all, here's a couple of pictures. This is uh, of, of myself when I was in Iraq with. Three of my best friends uh, that I was in uh, light armored reconnaissance with, awesome. and uh, the, this one was just, I don't know what that one is, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I thought it was cool. It is cool. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, this is also from my uh, uniform that I wore over there, my U.S. Marines and my name That's patched so cool. with uh, an Eagle Globe and Anchor. Wow. And then these are actually uh, from the battlefield. Um, I, I brought these back from Iraq, um, from uh, the soldiers from the Iraqi uh, army that dropped all their gear in uh, uh, and ran. ran. Yeah, they, they ran away from us because uh, they did the right thing in doing that. By the right. Way. But uh, anyway, I've got a, I've got a bunch of stuff like this, so I figured that you know I get all in a box if you guys could, you know, put it out. It'd be awesome. Oh man, if that is it, so. this is this is very very cool. So thank you, thank yeah, you definitely. so much, and again, thank you for your service. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks. <laughs> and this is Stephen from the Ruck. Even did the band of white part. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not a real zebra. It's a cow. It's a cow. <laughs> 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 like a zebra. <laughs>